In this episode of CEFF, I'm on Forest Road 349. Hello. I'm Ronnie AZ, Ronnie in Arizona. Today I'm going to show you how to capture images with the CEFF formula for digital capture. CEFF stands for Composure, Exposure, Focus, and Field. Today the dogs and I go to Forest Road 349 between Superior and Globe, Arizona. Hello, we're off of Forest Road 349, which ties into the US 60 down here between Superior and Globe, Arizona. When you go through uh, Pinto Creek, there's a little valley, it goes over the creek and then up at the top of the hill is the turn off to 349. On the other side is a copper mine. I was scouting out this area here, I kind of like it. That's Jasper. Ugh, don't want to step on you, Jasper. Pima. And this always works for a good photo. An old, beat up wooden post. In this case, with some yellow flowers in the background. The sun's not going to mess with me exposure wise yet. So I need to be in a little bit of a hurry. Okay, today I have Nikon D300 with a prime lens, a Nikon 85mm f1.8, shooting with a Nikon D300S and has a Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter lens and a Sennhauser uh, lavalier mic. But anyway, as I scout this out, there's, a, there's a, like a clump of yellow there and a clump of yellow there. So I kind of want to position the post between the two. Okay, now with the prime lens, you zoom with your feet because you can't zoom. So you get back however far you want to get back. So let me get back over here. Let's see what this looks like. I'm just going to be uh, program mode, matrix metering, focusing on the post. And let me check my ISO. I'm at 400 because this is kind of a shady situation. So that's okay. I thought about going vertical, but I said, nah. Because then I'm going to start picking up the barbed wire, and I definitely don't want the barbed wire. So let me check out here how close I can get. So about right here, I got a nice large post in the frame. Take a look. Okay, I'm working on composure. I think... I want the post in between the two clumps of yellow. That way I'll have some yellow on both sides. And let's see. So this, if I go here, I'm blotting out. Well, take a look. Post right in the middle, but I'm, that's number what? 614. I'm blotting out those yellow ones there. Now watch what happens when I go over this away. And I want to focus on the post. Let's see. Let's leave. When I go. Well, here, let me show you. No, it'll be okay, I guess. I, that's a stick. I thought it was the barbed wire, but that's just the stick. So I'm going to go about here. Let's see how that looks. That's uh, 615. The post is in the middle. I like that. Okay, 
Now, exposure. Okay, exposure wise, I want a shallow depth of field. I'm gonna go to aperture, priority, and, cause I'm trying to jump in the gun, see? I'm doing exposure, but I know what kind of depth of field I want. I want the yellow flowers blurred out. So let's go to F4, well, let's try F8. F8, and then I will be on matrix metering, and I don't think I want that. Let's go to center metering, so I'm, so I'm gonna expose for the post and not so much for the background. So let's see what kind of result we get like this. Let me move over one little smidgen here. Oh yeah, but that's way too slow. That's a thirtieth of a second. But the flowers are about right. Let's try, let's go wider aperture. We'll go down to the four, which will give us a higher shutter speed because now the aperture's open wider, letting in more light. So the shutter speed's gonna increase. Keeping, keeping the ISO where it is at 400. Okay, so composure, I'm putting that over there. I got a uh, little blurred out yellow flowers in the background. Exposure, let's try F4. Yeah, they're a lot more blurred than when I was at uh, F8. Okay, composure, post between the two clumps. Exposure, we're just exposing for the stump and not the flowers. And we can choose either between F8 or F4. Focus, focused right on the stump itself. And uh, depth of field, we're going back to F4 and F, F8. So that's what we're looking at. Now, let's get a final image here. Okay, now I'm at 125th of a second, F4. I'm in aperture priority mode. I'm focused on the stump itself. I've adjusted my body position because I can't zoom with a prime lens except to use your feet. So I've got a nice big stump in the picture Focusing. Okay, so composure. Thought, hey, old stump, yellow flowers in the background. Exposure, expose for the stump and just let the yellow flowers, uh, don't worry about the lighting on them so much. Focus focused on the stump. Field, kind of played in with the exposure, went for F8 or F4, depending. We'll see later on the computer which one I like better, okay? So, always remember, composure, exposure, focus, and field to capture better images.